is News 9 at 5. Good evening. A controversial abortion bill is now state law. Effective immediately, any doctor performing an abortion in Oklahoma must conduct an ultrasound and show the images to the woman. Governor Henry vetoed the bill Friday, but this week both legislative chambers successfully overrode that veto. Dave Jordan is live at the Capitol with the very latest. Dave? Well, Kelly, it just passed the Senate earlier today, 36 to 12. Now, there was an emergency clause attached to the bill, and as Amanda says, it means that this abortion bill goes into effect immediately. After two years of legal challenges and criticism from pro-choice activists, state lawmakers successfully passed their abortion measure and garnered enough support to override Governor Henry's veto. Every Republican in the state Senate voted for it, but more importantly than that, there was Democrat support as well. But a spokesman for Governor Henry had strong words against the measure he said crossed the line. Governor Henry supports reasonable restrictions on abortion, but these bills went too far. They're unconstitutional, and the courts are going to throw them out. Sun says Governor Henry takes issue with the mandated ultrasound every woman seeking an abortion must undergo. The doctor conducting the ultrasound must then show her the images and explain them in detail. There is no exemption for victims of rape and incest. Victims of these horrific acts should not be forced to undergo a medical procedure against their will. It's unconscionable and it's unconstitutional. But Senator Lamb says that is consistent with the language from a previous bill that was declared unconstitutional, even though it had bipartisan support from the legislature. And there was not that exception at that time, uh, and there's not that exception at this time. Do you think there should be? I'm going to let the legislation stand on, stand on its own. One pro-choice group says that re-victimizes women. For a woman who's been raped and that's why she's having the termination, or a woman who's been the uh, victim of incest, to have to undergo that and, and no, no exemption made for that is, is even worse. But Senator Lamb says this is what the public wants. We have to do what we think is in the best interest of our constituents. Now, late this afternoon, the Center for Reproductive Rights out of New York filed a lawsuit blocking this bill, or trying to anyway, specifically the ultrasound provision. Now, Kelly, if that name rings a bell, that is the same group that successfully fought this an earlier version of the bill earlier this year. All right, Dave Jordan for us out at the Capitol, and we'd like to know what you think. Do you support the legislature's decision to override Governor Henry's abortion bill vetoes? You can go to News9.com, look on the home page to vote in our poll.